All right, all right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Holy Son. Peace and blessings to all my beloveds out there and all my DBZ heads, man. All my brothers out there and sisters and, and uh, friends or whatever that uh, is into Dragon Ball Z or into the anime, right? Or is uh, hip to the shows and series. Today, I'm going to be going into um, Dragon Ball Z, <clears throat> showing a connection with Dragon Ball Z and the scriptures. And I'm going to show um, where they got, where Dragon Ball Z get this from out of the scriptures, uh, what I'm about to bring up today, which I'm going to be going into Garlic Jr. Garlic Jr., man. Right, which he's in Dragon Ball Z. And I'm going to be showing that how uh, Garlic Jr. represents the spiritual demon Satan. Garlic Jr. is a mocking from the Dragon Ball Z series. He is the main antagonist in the movie Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone. Though he was defeated in Dead Zone, he reappears as the main antagonist in the Garlic Jr. Saga taking place between the Frieza and Trunk Saga from uh, Fandom, which uh, I want to get the word for uh, Machin because it says Garlic Jr. is a Machin, which I'm going to show what a Machin is. Machins. Machio Sajan. Right? Machins or Machio Sajan. Also referred to as the Serpent Race in the English dub were the natives of the Machio star before its destruction prior to the series. Right? So the Machians are a serpent race of uh, deities that live in the Machio star, which would be in the heavens. Right? So it says that Garlic Jr., he's, he's a serpent race. Right? That's what a Machian is. A Machian is a, uh, the serpent race people. Right? From the Machio star. Right? Which that's what the Garlic Jr. is. So he is a serpent. Remember in the New Covenant in the scriptures that Satan, the devil, is also compared to a serpent. Okay? According to what? 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I fear at least by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. All right, let's get this word for serpent in the Greek. Strong's G, 3789, Aphis. Aphis. Right, it says Aphis, which says snake, serpent. With the ancients, the serpent was an emblem of cunning and wisdom. Right? But Satan is supposed to be a, a crafty, demonic God, right? The serpent who, was, who deceived Eve was regarded by the Jews as the devil. Okay? Talking about the devil, man. The serpent is the devil. Through the idea of sharpness of vision, a snake figuratively as a type of sly, cunning, and artful, malicious person, especially Satan, Serpent. Okay? So the serpent represents Satan and the devil. Okay? Which, uh, in this context, the serpent is referring to the devil. This is Revelation 16 and 13. Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs. Come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirit of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and to the uh, whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. So uh, the unclean spirits and the demons are even compared to frogs, man. Garlic Jr., he even looked like a goddamn frog. See that? So evil spirits are compared to frogs. 
And I want to get a spirit, uh, a scripture that speak about uh, evil spirits, uh, basically compared to frogs as well. We have Acts chapter 19, verse 15. Acts 19 and 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped, it leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out the house naked and wounded. See that? So this evil spirit had hey, y'all here naked and wounded. All right? Like Garlic Jr. was, uh, you know, terrorizing people, man, on, on episodes or whatever. But uh, it said that the evil spirit leaped on them. Remember, the unclean spirits are compared to frogs, man. Garlic Jr. looked like a frog. It says, years after dead zone, Garlic Jr. escapes imprisonment after the source of his power the Machio star approaches the Earth's orbit. So it says that um, he escapes imprisonment, right? What was his imprisonment? He was he was sealed away, right? In in the movie Dead Zone, Garlic Jr. Right? It says Garlic Jr. comes back from the Dead Zone. It right? says the Dead Zone or the Dozone is a hyperspace void of darkness created by garlic. The dead zone sucks people in and leaves them floating through the pitch blackness for the rest of their lives. Although a void of darkness, it is not immune to the effects of time from the main dimension, even when closed, which is especially evident by how Garlic Jr. ultimately escaped the first time due to feeling the energy of the Machio stars passing by Earth. In Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone, Garlic Jr. opened the Dead Zone in an attempt to suck in Goku, Piccolo, Kami, Krillin, and Gohan. Gohan was able to resist its suction and knock Garlic Jr. into the Dead Zone. So he knocked Garlic Jr. into the Dead Zone in the, in the, um, in the uh, movie Dead Zone. Right, meaning... Uh, Garlic Jr. was uh, imprisoned in the abyss, and he was sealed away. Because when you get in the, go in a dead, a dead zone, you're sealed away, right? So it says, uh, Gohan was able to resist. Hey, scripture says resist the devil, right? It says, Gohan was able to resist his suction and knock Garlic Jr. into the dead zone, right? The Bible does says to resist the devil. Hey, Gohan resisted the devil, man. That's what's up, Gohan. Do your thing, Gohan. This is uh, James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And that's what happened. Gohan resisted Garlic Jr. in the movie, and Garlic Jr. was sealed away in the dead zone or sealed away in the abyss. Like Satan will be sealed away in the abyss, just like Garlic Jr. was sealed away in the dead zone. Revelations 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having a key at a bottomless pit. Right? The bottomless pit will be synonymous with the dead zone in Dragon Ball Z. Dead zone. Right? Having the key of the bottomless pit. Right? And the great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. Remember, Garlic Jr. is called a Machian. A Machian is a, a serpent, right? And he laid hold on a dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. Till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that, must he be loose a little season? So, this is exactly what happened to Garlic Jr. in the movie. Uh, in the shows, Garlic Jr. was cast into the dead zone or the bottomless pit, and uh, he was there for a while, and then he comes back out. And when he comes back out, he comes to cause havoc, he wants the smoke. All right, Dragon Ball Wiki, it says, Garlic Jr. 
remained in the void for about three years until the Mach Yo star. So in the movie, when he was first there, he was there for about three years, right? Right? And remained in the void for about three years. The three years that Garlic Jr. was in the void or in the dead zone or in the bottomless pit is synonymous with the spiritual demon Satan, beloved ones. Remember, Garlic Jr. is a mocking. A mocking is a serpent. And what's funny is that Garlic Jr. was in the void for three years, which I actually learned this as I'm doing this video. I didn't even know Garlic Jr. was in the void or in the bits for three years, which represents Satan, y'all. Because guess what? Satan is going to be in the bottomless pit for three years. And I got, I got, uh, I'm gonna prove it right now. This is um, Revelations 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. Remember, Garlic Jr. is a mocking. Mocking means serpent. That old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit, right? Into hell or the dead zone for Garlic Jr. And shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that must he be loosed a little season, right? So um, Satan is going to be in the bottomless pit for a thousand years, man. And I want to show y'all how the thousand years actually represents a thousand days, right? Or three, three years or three and a half years, like the scripture says. Because Garlic Jr., he was in the dead zone for three years which Satan is going to be bound for a thousand years, which that represents three and a half days or a thousand years or a thousand and two hundred and three score days, meaning a thousand two hundred and sixty days. That's a thousand years, right? And I'm going to get the scripture to show that the thousand year period is actually referring to the three and a half days. Just like Garlic Jr. was in the dead zone for three years. This is Revelation 12 and 6. And the woman fled into the wilderness. Right? When we're going back to the homeland. Right? This is when we go back to the homeland, Israel. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she have a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Okay, a thousand two hundred and three score days. Okay, so a thousand and two hundred and three score days is a thousand. Uh, 1,260 days, which represents a thousand years or three and a half years, which represents a, a thousand two hundred and sixty days. Remember, one day to the most high is as a thousand years. Second Peter three and eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So when the scripture says Satan is going to be bound a thousand years, that's talking about 1,260 days, right? Because one day is a thousand years to the Lord, right? That's when we will be with the Lord in that time, which is that thousand year period. And during that period, Satan is bound. He's sealed up in the bottomless pit. 
right? He sealed up in the bottomless pit for a thousand years, right? Just like Garlic Jr. was sealed up for three years, right? Which um, the woman, she went to the wilderness where she was, um, she had a place prepared for her that she may be uh, protected from the serpent for a thousand two hundred and uh three score days or a thousand two hundred and sixty days which is a thousand years one day with the lord is a thousand years all right so say he will be bound for a thousand years or one thousand two hundred and sixty days right which is in revelations 12 and 14 which it says um that into the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent right meaning the serpent is not going to be dealing with her or messing with her for a time and times and half a time that's three and a half years that's that thousand year period when satan is bound in the bottomless pit. So that's what this is talking about. Because it says that uh, where she is nourished for a time, right, represents one year. In times, that's two years. So that, that's three years right there. Right? You have a time and times. Right? Time is one. Times is two. That's three. And a half a time, which is three and a half years. Right? So now, Let's show uh, the three and a half years also represents um, three and a half years represents a thousand two hundred and uh, three score days, right? All right, I don't have time to go into it right now, beloveds, but I have videos on my channel going into the Hebrew calendar dealing with the um, the new moon cycles, right? And there's 360 days in the biblical Hebrew calendar. I have uh, plenty of verses on it and videos dealing with it to prove it. But the thousand and uh, uh, 203 score days prove that we had uh, um, a 12 month calendar that all had 30 days each month, which is 360 days in a year, right? According to the ancient Hebrew calendar. Which uh, 360, if you uh, take 360 and you multiply 360 times 3.5, you get 1,260 or 1,203 score, which a score is 20. So 320 to 60, which represents three and a half years or a time times and a half a time, which is three and a half years, or um, 1,260 days, which also represents a thousand years, because one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, according to Second Peter 3 and 8. And um, in Revelation 20, we will be in the first resurrection and be with Yahweh Shai, while Satan is bound for a thousand years, which is a thousand two hundred and uh, three score days just like it says in revelations um 12 and um 14 that the woman is nourished uh for a time and time and half a time from the face of the serpent that's the thousand year period right that's the thousand year period so when satan comes out of the bottomless pit after a thousand years, right? He's going to try to come make war with the Israelites. Revelations 20 and um, 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled. So after the thousand years is fulfilled, that's when he goes out to deceive the nations, Gog and Magog, to, to do Armageddon. Remember it says the spirit of the devils is the ones that's going forth 
to uh, bring all this war nonsense, man. It's Satan. Okay? He's the one that's going to come out of the bottomless pit. The serpent. After a thousand years. Right? Revelation chapter 17, verse 8. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. So that's talking about the spiritual demon Satan, man. He's the one coming out of the bottomless pit, man. All right? Just like Garlic Jr. comes out of the dead zone. Let's go back to Revelation 20 to show that the, uh, Satan is that beast, that uh, that serpent, that devil that's coming out of the uh, bottomless pit. All right? This is uh, Revelation 20 and 3 again. Or I started 2. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Right? Uh, or a time and times and half a time, which is three and a half years, which equals 1,203 score days, which is 1,260 days, which is 1,000 years. One day with the Lord is 1,000 years. So that 1,000 year period represents three and a half years or three years. Just like Garlic Jr. was in the dead zone for three years. That represents a thousand years or a thousand two hundred and three score days, a thousand two hundred and sixty days, which is a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that must he be loosed a little season, right? Loosed a little season. He was locked up. Okay, this ain't talking about a, a, a Gentile being a slave and now he's not a slave in the kingdom. See that? You as a like to cut yourself when you don't understand who you wrestle against, man. This ain't talking about, oh, uh, brother, this talking about Esau, you know, he's going to be in captivity and after that he's going to be let loose a little season. No, that's not what that's talking about. It's talking about the spiritual demon Satan being sealed in the abyss. Right? The same place the demons were scared to go to in Luke 8 and 31. Same Greek word. Alright? Now let's jump down and uh, show it says they lived and ran with Christ for a thousand years. That's the one day. One day is as a thousand years which uh, Garland Jr. was in um, the dead zone for three years, which Satan is going to be in the bottomless pit for three and a half years, which is a thousand and two hundred and uh, three score days, which is um, that time, times and half a time when the woman is nourished from the face of the serpent. Why is the woman nourished from the face of the serpent? She's only nourished from the face of the serpent because the serpent is bound in hell for a thousand years, man. It's not talking about Esau. For my one West beloveds out there. You know, with one West in your forehead. Alright? Let's keep it going. This is uh, Revelation uh, 26. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on such the second death have no power. But they shall be priests of God in Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. That thousand years is the time period of the woman being nourished for time and times and half a time, which is three and a half years, which equals um, 1,260 days, which is the thousand year period when Satan is bound. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Let's get the precept. When Satan comes out of his prison after a thousand years, let's go to uh, Revelations 11, going to show you when Satan comes out of the bottomless pit. Right? Revelations, 
after uh, the, the two witnesses. After the two witnesses prophesied for a thousand uh a thousand years, right? Satan's coming after him. He comes out of his prison, like it says in Revelations 20. This is Revelations 11 and uh, 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. When they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days in sackcloth. A thousand two hundred and three score days is a thousand two hundred and sixty days, which equals three and a half years. Just like Garlic Jr. was in the dead zone for three years, right? Three and a half years. That is a thousand, right? Two hundred and three score days. Three hundred and sixty times three point five equals a thousand two hundred in 60 days right which is uh three and a half years or a thousand years when it says uh satan's gonna be he's gonna be locked up for a thousand years <laughs> oh man hey that's that's the uh that's it man that's that three uh three days man which is three and a half years you know one day to the lord is as one uh a thousand uh Years, man. See that? So uh, the, the the two witnesses, which are are priests of the heavenly Father, right? They gonna prophesy a thousand two hundred three score days, right? For that thousand year period when Satan's locked up, right? So we see they're prophesying when Satan is locked up, right? Then we get down to verse seven. It says, and when they shall finish their testimony, right? Meaning after the uh. After they done prophesying for that thousand year period, that's when Satan is, is released. Satan is released after a thousand years. So once the two witnesses, which are the priests of God, according to Revelation 20, once they done prophesying for a thousand years, when they have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit, meaning Satan come out of his prison. The beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, man. Just like it says in Revelation 12 that the dragon is going to make war against us. Talking about the spiritual demon Satan being bound and uh, cast into the bottomless pit, right? Which he is the uh, angel of the bottomless pit. This is Dragon Ball Wiki. It says, years after dead zone, Garlic Jr. escapes imprisonment. He escapes imprisonment. Don't Satan uh, comes out of his prison according to Revelations 20? Right? Let's go back to Revelations 20 and so show that Satan comes out of his prison, man. Let's get that in Revelations 20. This is Revelations chapter 20, verse um, 7. And when the thousand years are expired, the thousand years represents the time, times, and time and a half, three and a half years, also known as 1,200 and uh, three score days, which is 1,260 days. That's the thousand year period um, when Satan will be bound, right? And uh, after that, he comes out of his prison. Revelation 27. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Just like Garlic Jr. came out of his prison, man. Out of the dead zone. Right? So let's go back to that. It says, years after dead zone, Garlic Jr. escapes imprisonment after the source of his power, the Machio star, approaches the Earth's orbit. Garlic Jr. gathers his team of demons. Satan is also known as what? The prince of demons. So he have demons under him, right? Just like Garlic Jr. Garlic Jr. gathers his team of demon henchmen, right? Or like Satan has the uh, horsemen, right? His four horsemen or his uh, four henchmen. Like Garlic Jr. has four henchmen. Satan has four angels or four um uh, Main demons. Garlic Jr. gathers his team of demon henchmen, 
right? The Spice Boys, the Monarchs, include spice, vinegar, mustard, and salt, right? That's the name of uh, the characters, which is four of them, right? Garlic Jr. get four demons. So we see Garlic get, Jr. get four demons. Now I'm going to show you how Satan go get four demons, right? <clears throat> All right, or the four angels, like it says in Revelations. This is Revelations chapter uh, 9, verse 15, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, right? Which these are uh, Babylonian uh, uh, demons, man. Right? Remember, Revelation says Babylon has become the habitation of devils, right? Which is the Euphrates, that's the over there with ancient Babylon and all that, and the, and the devils, man. Saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound, and they're bound. Remember, y'all, Satan was bound. Satan was bound, y'all, according to uh, Revelation 20. And he was bound in the bottomless pit. Right? Satan and his angels, his four henchmen. Saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day, and a month and a year for the slave, the third part of man. Right? So, uh, you know, he went and got the four angels bound in the Euphrates River. Just like Garlic Jr. Uh, has four uh, henchmen, right? So it says, Garlic Jr. gathers his team of demon henchmen, the Spice Boys, the Monarchs include spice, vinegar, mustard, and salt. While Kami is not on the lookout, Mr. Popo, while busy tending the lookout, is attacked by Garlic Jr. Spice Boys. Okay? Let's skip down a little bit. Garlic Jr. then schemes to take control of Earth's population by the use of the black water mist, which caused those who breathed it in to become mindless vampire slaves under his rule. So uh, he turns people into uh, zombies, basically. Just like um, pretty much the uh, angel of the bottomless pit, man. He brings the locusts and uh, the scorpions, man, for those that don't have the Silla God upon their forehead, meaning it brings the mark of the beast. Right? Mindless vampire slaves under his rule. Right? Which, um, Karagma also, Karagma means a, a badge of servitude, meaning you're a slave. Right? So it says, um, uh, which caused those who breathed it to become mindless vampire slaves under his rule. With only Gohan and Krillin left to fight for Earth, Garlic Jr. and his cronies have a decisive advantage, especially since Piccolo has presumably been turned into a slave of Garlic Jr. So Garlic Jr. even turned Piccolo into a zombie. Another complicating matter was the uh, Machio star orbiting even close towards Earth. Uh, it served to amplify Garlic Jr., and his henchmen already considerable power. It says Garlic Jr. opens up the portal known as the Dead Zone, intending to suck his enemies into a void, right? Satan wants to send people to the abyss, right? Just like Garlic Jr. Wanted to uh, send his enemies into the void, into the dead zone. Remember, Satan uh, has power over death, according to Hebrews 2 and uh, down, right? It says, Garlic Jr., intending to suck his enemies into a void, which they can never return from, the power lantern within Gohan explodes in a rage. He overwhelms an awed Garlic Jr., and knocks him into his own vortex to be trapped for all of eternity. Although he initially doesn't mind due to his newfound 
immortality at the end of the movie. A Wizard Gardner Jr. can still be seen within the dead zone's glass like fragments. So uh, he was sealed in the dead zone, man. Just like uh, Satan was sealed in the bottomless pit. Shalom. This is from Wikipedia on Garlic Jr. <clears throat> it says Garlic Jr. or Garaku Jr. Right? Garaku Jr. Right? Which is Garlic Jr. Garaku Jr. Garaku Jr. is a character that first appears in Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone. Right? It says his father was imprisoned by Kami in the realm of darkness. So Garlic Jr. Uh, also had a father. Right? <clears throat> which um, he was uh, imprisoned in uh, the realm of darkness, right? But um, in the cartoon, really, Garlic Jr., they said Gar Garlic Jr. basically is the same as his father, basically. You know, he came back as his, uh, as his son, pretty much, on the cartoon. But um, he basically said, it says uh, he was imprisoned by Kami in the realm of darkness, right? Which Kami actually sealed him <laughs> in the realm of darkness at first, leaving Garlic Jr. with resentment and desire for re revenge. He obtains the seven Dragon Balls wishes for immortality and began his quest for revenge, right? This spiritual demon Satan is, um, you know, an angel, right? So he is, uh, he was made immortal, right? But, uh, he has been, uh, he uh, does go to the realm of death. So he is uh, basically the angel of death now. He is defeated when Gohan pushes Garlic Jr. into the dead zone or the Dido zone, an alternate dimension he can freely open. Garlic Jr. is one of the few original characters from the film to be appeared in the TV series. In the TV series, he breaks free using the Makyo star, right? Uh, or uh, Makyo Se, Makyo Se, right? Or the Makyo star as a uh, power source, leading the events of the Garlic Jr. arc. After brainwashing and transforming all living creatures, remember how uh, it said that the, uh, the beast and Satan is going to cause everybody to worship him. Right? And get turned into uh, Mark of the Beast. Zombies. <clears throat> Just like Garlic Jr. does in the movie. And then and you watch it, he at Garlic Jr. possesses all these people, man. Everybody get demons on them when you watch the, uh, um, the actual uh, cartoon. After brainwashing and transforming all living creatures of the world with the black water mist, he is trapped in the dead zone again. Right, he 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 got he got sent back to the do abyss. Right, he is trapped in the dead zone again after the Makyo star is destroyed. In the original Japanese versions, Garlic Jr. is voiced by Akira uh, Kamiya in the film of Shigeru uh, Kibai in the anime. Right, which I'm not trying to read that. Let me keep going. In the film, Garlic Jr. has three henchmen. He has three henchmen named uh, Niki, Sancho, and uh, Ginger, and Jinja. When he returns in the anime, Garlic is accompanied by a new group of henchmen known as the Spice Boys or the Four, Monar four uh, Monarchs or the Four Angels of Euphrates, like it says in Revelation 9. Uh, loose the uh, four angels in the Euphrates uh, that are bound, like Satan was bound, right? Satan was bound for a thousand years, just like the uh, the the four angels of the Euphrates are bound. So let's keep it going. Um, Garlic is accompanied by a new group of henchmen or horsemen, <laughs> known as the Spice Boys or the Four Monarchs, right? The Ma Mazoku. Uh, ten, no, right? Four heavily, the four heavily kings of the demon clan. These are four heavily demon uh, kings, right? <laughs> right? That's what they're called, the Mazuku uh, Shitino. Mazuku Shitino, man. 
four heavenly kings of the demon clan, or the four monarchs, the Spice Boys, Garlic Jr.'s uh, henchmen, right? The Gashu, uh, Gash is their leader with aqua skin and white hair and a similar style to Vegeta. Vinegar or Vinica is a big, light purple, muscular humanoid with long hair and horns. Mustard or Tado or Tar is a muscular humanoid with brown skin, long gray hair, and bull horns. And Salt, Zaradu or Zalad is the smallest of red skin. All four are killed by Gohan. So, uh, that's what it is, man. You know, Garlic Jr., he gets trapped in the dead zone. Just like Satan gets sealed in the bottomless pit. Shalom.